where you live. All right, welcome to tonight's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. He's Ross Bowen. I'm Mike Clef. You want to stick around and see the score of the Lewis Cass and Drain game and highlights. But we start the show off with the three time defending Class A defending state champion. Central Catholic Knights, they were on the road tonight taking on the Winnemac Warriors. For the very first time, these two teams met on the football field with a regional championship on the line. While the Knights came into play with loads of experience, the Warriors were playing in their first regional game since 2000. CC down 7 0 early, but start the second with a quick score. Ty Preston punches it in from the goal line, and CC evens it up. Warriors looking to get back on top. Senior QB Zach Scheidler. Looking downfield, but he is picked off by junior knight Joe Smith. And Joe is going to get some yardage on this play. Flag on the play, though, against the Warriors. CC winds up back inside the five-yard line. After a couple more Warrior penalties, senior Will Jones, the Energizer Bunny, gets in. CC scores twice in just 70 seconds. Winnemac driving, but it comes up to a screeching halt. Nigel Hensley puts the hit on, forced the fumble. John Paul Santos reaps the reward. Huge fumble return for the touchdown. 21-7 Knights, that's three scores in less than five minutes. Winnemac getting desperate. Shidley puts some serious arm into it, throws a prayer into triple coverage, and somehow Parker Fox, the sophomore, comes down with it. Big game for the Warrior. Scheidler, who showed great legs throughout, rolls left and breaks free on this one. One man left to beat, untouched. This keeper back and forth, 21-14. CC responds quickly. First play after the kickoff, Preston drops back and releases. Off the fingertips of the defender, Timmy Mills catches it, 28-14 Knights. And CC, they go on to win, 49-14, more on the game in a few minutes. Mike. In Class 2A, Lewis Cass hosted Andrean in a regional contest tonight. Scott Mannering, the Kings' outstanding head coach, he was watching the 59ers driving late. Quarterback Matt DeSummer, the 13-yard touchdown pass to Tyler Petkovich, 28-12 Andrean. This was some wild ball game. The Kings start to rally. A great effort by Peyton Young. Turns a nice run into a big play. He won't go down. 37-yard run deep into 59ers territory. Cass would keep it going. This game was absolutely crazy and entertaining. Brendan McGeehee, hard-charging run. That gives the Kings a first down. There Kings rally to tie the game. Andre then comes up with a defensive stop on fourth down as Ramon Guerrero stops Lewis Cass quarterback Sheldon Slusser just short of a first down, but the Kings answer with some D of their own. Blake Kane stuffs 59ers halfback Donovan Chandler. This game would go more than 48 minutes of regulation and then some. No kidding. No kidding. Five overtimes. Unfortunately, Lewis Cass nipped by final of 67 to 66. That is correct, 67-66. Congrats to the Kings on a very gutty effort and a terrific season. Ross. We switch gears to the girls basketball. Logan Sport and McCutcheon squaring off on the hardwood. Maverick crowd fired up for this one. First possession of the ball game. McCutcheon works the ball around and then Bailey Smith, she butters the biscuit. That's the first <laughs> one of the year. How about them apples? Logan Sport would answer Whitney Jennings, number 15. She's so smooth. Easy jumper. The Mavericks trying to work the three-point action. There's another biscuit, Mike. Gabrielle Gray jumps up and sinks another big one. McCutcheon trailing, trying to move the ball when Logan Sports Whitney Jennings reaches in for the steal, goes coast to coast for the lay-in. Number 15, folks, she's for real. Whitney Jennings on fire as she reaches in for another steal and then pass to Kristen Lowry, who makes the layup. Logan Sports still dominating in the, in the zone. Nakia Penny pushes her way through the McCutcheon defense for the easy score. And then check out that reverse lay-in by the Berries. Felix the Cat loves that effort. Whitney Jennings, she was the real deal in this one. She's up ahead right there going coast to coast, pull up jumper, got it, and then some. Logan Sport goes on to win by a final score of 79 to 35. The Benton Central girls basketball team tip off its season tonight at Seagirt. Safe to say the Bison have a sour taste in their mouth after the way last season ended. After a great regular season, the Bison were bounced in the first game of sectionals by Twin Lakes. I spent some time with head coach David Baxter and his team earlier this week, and it's safe to say the Bison are ready to bounce back. In the state tournament, one bad game is all it takes to end your season. For Caitlin Tolan and the Lady Bison, their goal this year is to make sure that doesn't happen again. 
we definitely have to go out every game like it's our last fight like that. Never underestimate opponents because anyone can beat you at any given night. We just got to go out and play our game each game. It was a heartbreaker. Um, I mean, Twin Lakes showed up that game. We didn't. They were the better team. Um, we just got to learn from that, and we bring that to practice every day as motivation for us to get better and uh, hopefully go farther this year. We always get on the younger girls and even on each other when we're taking a playoff because in sectionals last year, if you take one playoff, one play can take the game away from you, and we're just really trying to keep the intensity up every game and stay focused. David Baxter is entering his third season as the Lady Bison head coach. In two years, he has racked up 40 wins and a state finals appearance. With three returning starters, expectations remain the same inside Arena Gym. They have high expectations this year, and we take them one game at a time. Uh, you know, we've got a high ceiling, but at the same time, you know, last year has taught us that, you know, you're zero and zero in the postseason and anything can happen. So they'll be focused and ready to go this year. The Bison will rely on senior guard Caitlin Tolan. As a junior, she averaged 21 points per game. This year, she will have to do more than just score the basketball. And number 12 is up to the challenge. I try to do whatever my team needs me to do, um, whether that be assists, scoring, rebounding. Uh, whatever the team needs, uh, we got to go out every game because it's one step closer to being my last. So, got to play with that much more intensity. A good night for Benton Central. They defeated Seeger by a final of 82 to 29. Well, we have more highlights to get to on this week's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. Next up, we head to Mackey Arena where Purdue was taking on. All right, welcome back to the Friday Night Frenzy. We have a full house in the studio tonight. Absolutely. He's Jared Jesselitis. This is Randy Jones from ESPN 1450 Radio. I work with them uh, as well. Enjoy it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> they called tonight's game uh, in which the Knights defeated the winning that chorus 49-14. Randy, let's start with you. Overall, what did you think of the Knights' performance? Knights' performance, a little slow at the uh, start, especially in the first quarter, but then things started to gel for the Knights. They made some adjustments uh, in the second quarter and on offense and defense just altogether a team effort as it always is with CC you got guys coming into the game making plays that uh, you didn't expect you know Will Jones with another great game tonight Santos another guy you don't hear his name a lot tonight you heard his name because he recovered a fumble he's in for a touchdown Shra it's Schrader it's Patchkey it's Mills I mean just a team effort on both ends of the ball great job congratulations tonight to CC and coach Shea O'Shea and again Special teams plays a big role, just like last week. The corner kick, they recover it last week, they recover it again this week. Uh, the difference uh, this week, though, was uh, that ball took a very favorable CC bounce at just the right angle and shot right back into uh, one of the uh, special teams players for CC. As of last week, everybody's kind of staring at the ball like it's a punt. And again, uh, that was a big momentum changer for it because I believe they were up uh, by two scores at that point. They kick it off. They get the ball back and they march it right back down. Another touchdown. All of a sudden, this ball game's pretty much out of reach. Jared, Randy, we're kind of tied on time, but real quick, just what you guys have seen this season. You've seen a lot of Central Catholic. Do you think they're capable of closing this thing out and winning two games in a row, winning a fourth straight state championship? Well, with the, with uh, Coach O'Shea and, and a quarterback like Preston, absolutely. They'll close it out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I've already made my plans for the Saturday after th or the Friday after Thanksgiving. All right, <laughs> and that's of course when Central Catholic would play uh, if they would defeat Sheridan, and that game would be uh, at Sheridan next Friday night. I'm the used to being down at the oil can. Oh day. yeah, that's your second home. Yeah, all right, absolutely. Randy, Jared, thank you very much for thank your time, you. and we'll Thanks see you guys us. tomorrow morning. So, all right, that'll do it for tonight's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. For bonus highlights from tonight's games, just visit our website at wlfi.com. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.